And that, kids, is why you should always use protection. Any questions? Yes, I have a question. How is it going to protect us from government surveillance when they monitor your every move? Uh, I don't think you... Or wild animals! I mean, it is just a piece of plastic. Well, it doesn't protect you like that. It protects you in some... What about terrorists? What's it gonna do against a gun? And a crazy guy? Well, it doesn't protect you against everything. How is it going to protect us from the most dangerous thing of all? Me bad. Living armor. This unit's power is always equal to its armor. Now this card actually used to have a very interesting interaction in Monsters where Karen Thier was able to target this and you would basically have a 14 point power play with the living armor and the Karen Thier combined. But now that Karen Thier isn't able to target neutrals, this combo obviously does not exist anymore and hasn't existed for quite a while. Pretty much ever since Master Mirror that combo does not exist. So living armor has been under the shelves for that period of time until today that we're digging it out and bringing it back to life. Haha. <laughs> so you might have guessed the idea here is to combine living armor with Mahaka Marauder. So I want to get a living armor that's super duper big, super duper tall. And while we're at it, we just play a bunch of dwarves around it. We got the Zoltan Warrior, the Shive, the Bruverhoog. I'm running Shive solely because of its Zoltan's company synergy. I want to get as many of these as out as possible. And Mundra Broy is obviously also synergizing with cards like Warrior and the Dwarven Chariot. So there's a lot of little funny synergies we have here. The most important though is the Living Armor into the Marauder. And then we also run some Bandit cards such as Wagon, Wagenberg, uh, and Iron Falcon Troubadour to even bump up the living armor as much as we can so that we can hide him behind a defender and then maybe our opponent isn't able to deal with the living armor hopefully probably gonna be quite unlikely now i also have dennis cranmar in case my opponent does run not run a control deck i can lock my living armor with the derogare so that the dennis cranmar can actually target the living armor to boost it up by its amount of armor that it has at the moment. So it basically gives me a second, or like in this case, a third Marauder. It's obviously built around this one combo and we're just gonna try and see whether we can win some games while also pulling off the crazy combo. All right, we are facing, oh boy. Oh boy, this deck's gonna be everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> Pincer Maneuver. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 this is, this is fine, this is fine, guys. All right, we got we got living armor here, and we got some marauders here. That's pretty good, I would say. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to basically out tempo them in this round, and just go for the win. Basically, here we have justice as well to thin our deck by a bit. We also have Decree for maybe a Zoltan carryover play. Okay, there's the Courier. Apparently this interaction doesn't work anymore. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And I can all just cop, cap it off here and, and play a bit, bit of tempo here, right? That seems pretty good. Dude, I'm, I'm, I have to get used to this card having this ability because I would always just like pray proactively. Like I have the tendency to just click it for the vitality. It's, it's kind of funny. So let's see what variant he's actually running here, though. Okay, so he's playing the super greedy version. That's fine. Is this melee locked? This is melee locked still. Okay, that's super low tempo. So this guy's kind of just playing low, low tempo here. Huh. That's slightly annoying. I think I need to play this front row, actually. I mean, the worst case scenario, I just use my Kramar here. Oh, I should've, oh, I didn't know this actually gained armor as well. Don't ever expect your opponents to line up. What if I pass here? How is he gonna do this in, if I pass? Wait, 
What if I just pass here? How is he going to make 20 points? I do want round control though. Ah, uh, this feels kind of bad, but I think I have to do it. All right, I, I, need, I need this round control here. There's no way he's playing this out, right? Where are your points? Like, this is so unfavored for me, but like, he has to, at some point... Oh, that's what he does. Okay, that's fine. It's not that bad, actually. So he needs... How is he gonna get 20 points, though? No, I think I play Armory, actually. I think I still play the Armory here. Alright. That was low tempo, but... Gives us carry over for the next round. So I don't need the Derogre as well at this point. So I can use it on one of his cards. God, this is awkward. Oh, uh, that's where the points are. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna pass here. I don't think he can do 12 in one here. Muzzle. Oh, that's 10. He needs to use two leader charges at least. Two leader charges, but I think we're just gonna lose now. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just pass. This ring of favor really did him a favor here. <laughs> Pun intended, obviously. Yeah, the Ring of Favor was definitely... If I passed when I was like 20 points ahead and didn't play the Armory, I think I would have won this game. Or like, I, I could have forced him to like go two or three cards down, maybe even. But now that's not the case, uh, it's gonna be a bit of an issue. We got two Marauders. We got a Zoltan as well. All right. Oh, he's gonna keep going. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that actually. So I think I want to go with Zoltan this round, and then Monroe basically to be uneven, I guess. Oh boy, this is a lot of points though. I might need to lock the Istrid here. But I also kind of cannot lock the Istrid here. Yeah, okay, so this guy's just greeting it. This guy's soup playing the super greedy variant here. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. Okay. This should be enough to keep up, though. I think I boost you up as well. Yeah, this should be enough. Okay, that's good. Radovid. Uh, dude, I need to get rid of some. I guess I, I can play one Marauder for 10. I guess I can use my Armory as well, in that case. Look at that! 13, baby! Let's go. Don't tell me my he's gonna bleed me down to my last card here. That would be so annoying. Dude, I don't want to play my Derogre here, but why is he forcing out my last card here? That's so stupid. Yeah, I should have passed. I had a, I had a, I had a really good pass in round one, and I didn't take it. He would have, it would have been really awkward for him. It would have been super awkward for him. He's necromancer. Oh, he's he's greeting this so hard. Holy moly, dude. So what's more valuable though? I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's more m the most valuable thing right now anymore. Well, the locks, I think the most... I think this is fine, right? This should be okay. Yeah, I think he's passing here. Alright, so I need to... I mean, if he has, like, Defender, I'm in trouble. I need to draw... I, I need to at least draw my Zoltan's Company into Bruver. And just get as much armor on my side of the field as possible. This is not going to help me. This also isn't really that great. Bruver's nice. But I'm not sure it's good with any of these. Okay, that's annoying. Alright, whatever. I can, I, can, I can use this though. Okay, so is he going to go... I think he's going to go Tritum. We're going to have to lock the Tritum here. It's a pretty easy lock here. Yeah. So he wants to cheat it out. Which is good since we have Skirmisher, right? Skirmisher is huge here. Okay, so he does teleportation on that. 
That's actually really freaking annoying, dude. Uh, oh my god. All right, whatever. All right, so now he's gonna play. Oh, that's all right. I don't really care about that. All right, his last play is arguably the the thirty swing, thirty point swing, right? How many points is it though? Wait. Oh, he, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh my god, how big is this? 15? That's actually not that big. If you think about it. Because I got lots of armor here. This might be not be enough, actually. Especially now with the 3 damage. Uh, it's close. Oh, I think he's done it. I think he's won it. Because he killed my 1 here. Yeah, no, it's, it's no, nowhere near close. All right, no, I think round one I played. I played. I played round one very wrong there. That was a bit of a throw. Yeah, locking the trident wasn't enough, which is kind of sad. But what you're gonna do? We're playing tactical decision. All right, this one should be a bit more interactive, a bit more fun. Hehe. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? We can set up this. That's pretty good. I don't think I need wagon here. Okay, he's going Cursed Scroll, so I'm, I actually don't know what he's playing. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, it's Mill. Lovely. Um, do I really care about Mill? Mill isn't like... I don't really thin that much. I have like one thinning tool. Which is alright, I guess. All right, I don't want to hit the, the King Slayer, by the way. Yeah, okay. All right. I, oh, he banishes Defender. That's so annoying, actually. <laughs> yeah, banishing Defender feels really awkward. No, I need. I want to. I want to get my thinning tools out here. I'm not gonna hit one of these because it just gives them a free teleportation. I might even brew her here, honestly. That's a bit rude. I mean, he's kind of forcing me to play the. Whatever. Whatever. I think, yeah, I mean, whatever. If he gets teleportation value, then he gets teleportation value. Not much I can do. Oh! No teleportation value for you, sir! <laughs> Alright, since we went first, I think we're looking pretty good here. No, he got rid of my Marauder. That's actually even more valuable than all of it combined. Alright, do this. Good job, Zoltan. Zoltan doing the, some some good work here. All right, now I can see leader coming down. That's fine. If, what if I just smash Brewer here, realistically? Uh, uh. Oh no, he actually. Oh, that's so rude. That's actually really rude. Now I could. Uh, this is always just going to be a 12, right? So, I think this goes first if I put it on this side. Yeah, nice. Okay. Sure. Oh, no, not the <laughs> not the company, man. Not the bloody company, man. All right. Do the armory things. Keep getting armor on our side of the field. So, we don't have defender and we don't have company anymore. He stinned our deck quite nicely, which is cool. Tibor, please no Marauder. Oh, come on, dude! Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. I'm not... We, I just have to win like a regular person. How does this deck thin so much? What the hell? Wait, how does this deck mill so much? Oh, God. And now he has that. Now he just has that. All right, I just have to play my dude now, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, he's kind of play. Oh, that's kind of good, though. That is kind of good, though. Wait, where am I? Oh, they're four power. 
That's not very good. Well, if I drop Bruver now, I just lose. I think I just have to do this. What if I... Oh, wait, this doesn't change anything. What if I... I, I think I might need to use my leader here. Come to think of it. Like what if his what is his last card here? Yeah, I need to I need to use leader here. It's quite simple actual. Alright. Cause we're getting three passively. He heat waves, but that's you're losing. What are you doing? <laughs> What the hell was that play? Come on, dude. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Alright, shield wall. Oh boy, Northern Realms. Definitely a scary matchup. This could combine that. The Wagenberg isn't that bad here. I guess I get rid of one of you. Hmm. This does gain two armor, which is kind of nice. Okay. I think mean, this is a good target for Skirmisher, I would say. This seems pretty good for Skirmisher, at least. Okay, that's annoying. Slightly annoying. I right, just do this. Smash them points, baby. Alright. Um, I don't really need this, do I? All right, so we're just bumping up our Dennis here. So we're going to play Zoltan next to this. Okay. So it's Ragnar, right? He passes. Oh, that's really good for me, then. That is quite good, actually. Because now I can just bleed him with Bruver, right? Like, what's he going to do? Well, I'll play Defender first if I find it, though. I would like one of my gold cards here. I need this then. All right, defender's great actually. So he's, it's this kind of forces out the the duel, the Anses. Oh, okay, or Necker. That's also fine. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's a pretty strong combo. So what would I transform in this hand? I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm clicking this. Does this remove? All right, let's just let's just, let's just bleed him here. I don't I don't care about your box, dude. All right, Meave. What if I lock Meave? Isn't that funny if I just lock Meave? I have a turn to do that though, which is also pretty good. All right, let's go. Brewer. Pumping in, pumping that iron. There's location. There's that dude. Yeah, I think I like locking Meave here. And then we just play the Cranmar, and then I think we should be good for the round. A Roach, that's pretty good. Defender. Oh, look at the Rogner value. This is a pretty big Ragnar, to be fair, though. Alright, I think last play, I'll, 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 it'll be Cranmar. Because without the Ragnarai, Cranmar doesn't really do much. And yeah, now we're just getting Valley. Uh, he might have Earden, to be fair. This seems like a... Oh, wait, no, he's playing Nova. What am I, what am I saying? Alright, time to pass. Time to pass. Right, there's this 13. All right, there's my, wait, this is, this is just dealt three, didn't it? Oh, no, wait, no, dude, you're gonna lose, no, you're gonna lose, no, 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 please. Oh, Jesus, oh, okay, that was a pretty thick Bruver. That was, a, that was a massive prover. <laughs> Dude, how many points was that? That was like 50 points alone. Alright, we are up against Enslave. Okay. 
wondering if it is in Slave 5 or 6. If it is in Slave... Okay, it's in Slave 5. So they play Invo. Not too fussed about that. Why are all my premium... Look at these... I, I'm, I'm, I got premium cards and this is what they give me? Really? Like, these are all premium. Okay, apparently you're not... Apparently you're all low resolution pictures now. <laughs> <laughs> that that just feels great, doesn't it? That that is what I want in life is low resolution pictures. I mean, part technician and this is actually kind of awkward to deal with. In it, in general, our armor I think is pretty annoying to deal with for him. Mm, that's actually very strong, though. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Are my cards ever going to be high resolution? <laughs> oh, dude, come on. Oh, no, that's so strong. I remember this. This is a hyper thin, right? This is pretty funny. I just want to I just want to be able to play my 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 justice, dude. Please let me play my justice. I mean, the worst case, I'll just play back row Dwarven Chariot and that should also do the job. So, I think that's his last tag. Oh! And that's also pretty good. I guess that is a very strong. Alright. If he passes, I just justice and leader. It's fine. This is a really annoying round one, though. Okay, what if I do this now? I can still go justice and leader. If not, um, okay, he joins that. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit of a silly one. Okay, that's a lot of commitments, and I'm out. <laughs> bye bye. Alright, I mean he has four carryover, but he's kind of played a lot of big cards here. He might be hyper thin though, so in that case it's not that terrible for him to be doing this. I like the decree here. Defender's not bad as well. Uh, wagon's a bit whack. Maybe I'll drop wagon. I think wagon Burke is pretty good, but wagon is pretty whack, honestly. I ain't gonna lie, guys. That's kind of what it feels like. Okay, so... Hmm... Is there a play... I mean, there's one play that gets me ahead of him now. It's pretty good, actually. I'll take it. Alright. I'll stay ahead of you. Don't mind if I do. Bribery. He found, he actually found the Zoltan, that's impressive. That's, okay, so he, do, he does, okay, that's actually not bad, right? So he hits this. Yeah, this is an easy justice. Easiest justice of my life, pretty much. Please hit the one armor, that's annoying. But we'll take it. He's banishing all my stuff, that's so rude. So I think I need to Wagenberg one of these two now. I think I have enough tempo to just Wagenberg here, hopefully. Like, I'm up by 11 already. And I'm a card up. I do have some pretty poor plays, though, so I need to be careful. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> you just trying to 50 50 me, bro. Alright, whatever. Uh, maybe I should have kept. Uh, I mean, the shorter round goes, the better wagon becomes, I guess. I mean, is he just trolling with this deck? He might be trolling. Well, that's pretty good, though. It's not gonna keep him ahead, though. I mean, it kind of is. What the hell? This is so stupid. Wait, I can't, I can't even play... Oh, my God. Do I have to play Wagenberg and freaking... Oh, whatever. And leader? I guess I do. I guess I just do. 
And like, it's not like leaders, like the greatest thing ever. Oh boy. Let's do this, right? Just stay ahead of him, might as well. He invos that. That's pretty big. Can I play defender then? I kind of need to play defender in that case. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, this is this should say zeal because it apparently has a zeal as well. He's playing his last card here. All right, whatever. You got me. You got me. Really annoying. But we have the living armor now. And we're a card up. So I just need marauders here, pretty much. I just want marauders. That's not a marauder. That's not a marauder! What are you doing? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, bruv. What is this Cranmar gonna do for him here? Alright, he still has one arm. Oh my god. I want my Marauder combo! What the frick, dude? <laughs> Why can I not get my Marauder combo? Jesus, dog. Man. Bruv. I. I just. I, just, I, just, I, just, I don't care. I don't care. I wanna get my combo. Alright, we're playing Overwhelming Hunger. Okay, this is like the definition of uninteractivity. We might still lose, but our round one should be quite favorable. And I still don't have premium cards of anything. I like my two... Oh, I actually really like this. That's nice. Okay. So I think I open... The fact that I have Decree means I can go for Monroe. So I'm very happy doing like, like this. That's so narrow. Okay, defend way. Oh no, it's the cheese Gurnikora deck. Well, in that case, I like my pings then. Do I waste? I think I waste Sultan's company here, actually. And just go Monroe. Wait. Haha! Okay. <laughs> Love that. Thank you, sir. Very nice of you. Mm, yeah, I guess I have to just kind of embark on a mission to try and ping as much as I can here. Or like keep him. I I need to keep him off of Sabbath somehow, if if that's even going to be possible. Probably not though. Alright, we just keep giving like one of these guys armor. Okay. Oh, now he has the Sabbath. Now it's gonna be a bit more scary. Okay, I need to kill one of these at least. I can kill. I can kind of kill all of them if I needed to. Ah, whatever. Let's just in our deck here. No, how have you not hit a? Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me! How have they not hit a single one of these bloody fruits? How have they not hit? How have they not hit the, the fruits? Like, come on, what the frick? They had to have hit at least one of them, but that's, that's so stupid. So is she gonna grow? She's gonna grow by two, but I can't get, get I can't give her round control. I literally can't give her round control. Okay, that's a bit rude. So I have to keep going. Alright. 
Mm, I don't want to use a Mirage. Oh, nice. Okay, sweet. Now, I, you could say that I've exhausted all my Dwarf Swarm. And you might be correct. So, Bruver might not even be worth it here, but you never know. So now we just we just need to draw. We just need to draw the card. We just need oh ooh ooh hello hello hello. Okay, um, that's not bad, right? <laughs> that's not bad actually. That's not bad actually. That ain't so bad, man. So we need to bleed, obviously. Here, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, he's trying to get all the good stuff out of my deck by banishing it. Okay, that's fair. So I do this. Just start my get my engine going. He's gonna have his engine at some point. <clears throat> I need to get my engine going here. There's the Sabbath. That's fine. He got he gets two of these. Alright, let's go with you. Wait, why did he put it front row? That was a bit of a throw. Oh! We hit the we hit the fruit. We hit the fruits. We hit the one-off fruit. Let's go oh shh. Okay, that's fine. I'll take Igni, whatever. The gurneys aren't growing anyway, so I don't really care. Look at that. Look at this 13 point Marauder, dude. Look at the 13 point Marauder. Does he have spores? Spores doesn't do anything here. What does this do? This, do, this does nothing. This does nothing, dude. Give me the value. Give me that. Give me that. Boom! 18! Woohoo! Alright, um. Is there any reason to not go for the 2 0 here? Yeah, I don't see a reason not going for a 2-0 here, honestly. <clears throat> oh, look at it keeps growing as well. Opponent connection lost? Sounds like sounds like somebody quit. Some sounds like somebody was like, no, I don't want it, please. Please. Victory. Okay, tactical decision. Maybe another mill. Maybe. Who knows? Alright, uh... We have, com we have combo cards. Combo card, good. I don't need this. Ooh. Bro, I want my... Pr <laughs> I don't like... I, this, ma this makes me quite anxious, actually. The fact that I, I can't actually use my premium cards here. It, it, does, I, it does honestly make me quite anxious. Alright, tactical decision? Probably... Dude, seriously? What about his cards? Do his cards at least... Are they premium? Wait, what? What the hell? What the hell is that? Oh my god. I'm in rank 1. Rank 1 usually has like these super tryhard. Wait, what the frick? Is this literally nothing but control? If he's playing Erendite... It's a bit weird. Is he gonna have more control? Please tell me you have even more control. Maxi. Your magic can't harm me. No magic can. Yeah. It's gotta be Zoltan. Actually, no, I wanna do this first for a Zoltan. I mean, you can pass here, I don't mind. But I think passing equals losing here in this situation, so... Oh, Gold Necker. Into the... Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good! Alright, that's, well, that's where the fun comes in, huh? Alright, this is where I can just go Munro, right? Munro seems pretty good here. Okay, that's annoying. So, is he Clog? If he's Clog, we have a pretty good hand against that, though. So he gonna, I guess he's going to use leader here. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit of coin flip abuse. That's fine, guys. That's fine. 
It's, uh, it's genuinely fine. Like, I do not mind this one bit. Like, look at that. He, he made my Munro even better now. Alright, time to armor up, baby. Yeah. Okay, so he's clog. Uh, I guess the, the wagon in that case is pretty weak then. It's fine. I will just establish my own carryover. Haha. -ha. I'll just give one of these guys an extra armor. Okay. If not by strength, then by stealth. Alright, now we're ahead, which is good. Hmm. That card is very annoying. Do I have to go Brewer now? Oh my god, I don't want to go Brewer now. But I might have to. So we're getting, what, four? Five, six? No, four, five. We're getting ten. This is where he passes, right? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, dude, I don't want to. <sighs> That's really annoying. There's the pass, at least. So I guess we need to bleed him, haha, -ha, but how are we going to bleed him without Bruver? I don't know, we kind of played our best cards this round. Hmm. This one's going to be an awkward one, especially with this hand. Oh, this hand is so ass. Oh no, this hand is so bad. What do I even want here? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Man, Blightmakers are so broken. I think Blightmaker might still be the most broken card in the game. I think I have to decree for Zoltan Warrior and hope I draw into my thingy. Alright, that makes it a lot more unlikely. I think I need to go Zoltan into leader. Zoltan, basically. Mm, yeah. And hope for the best here. Cynthia is pretty weak. I'm getting two more points here. Colgrim? Oh, Erendite isn't enough, though. That's great. He gives me another... <laughs> it just didn't have enough points. It just didn't have enough points. Where are your points? Where's your Colgrim? Where's your points? You got no points. Look at that. Pro rank, even though we didn't really pull off the, the combo. I guess I'll take it. I mean, Dorsage is just kind of good, I guess. I mean... You can kind of just build whatever you want around. I mean, we got a fifth, we got an 18 point Marauder. I can't, I can't really complain. All right, so Living Armor. This card is, I mean, it's a 10 for 10. It's not like garbage completely, but obviously it only syner really synergizes with the Marauder. And the cards that really set the uh, set us, set this up are the Wagenberg and like Wagon and. Those aren't great cards. I'm a, I, I gotta be honest with you guys. Those cards, if you put them into your deck, you, your deck becomes a significant amount worse. But this combined with the Marauders definitely is a very interesting combo. It plays for 24 points for 15 provisions, which is kind of nuts if you think about it, right? But you do need to draw the Marauder. But I think in the deck that I built, there's enough sort of synergies with the Marauder and the living armor that they're not entirely necessary for each other. So I think I, I, 
I did a pretty good job building a deck. It got me to pro rank. Let's go with the dwarves. Uh, I mean, dwarves is pretty fun, honestly. Dwarves, I wouldn't say is oppressively OP. It just has good points, realistically. And living armor is just a little spice you can add to your dwarf list if you want to have some fun and don't just want to go all out dwarf uh, mode and just smork on your opponents, which I did a few times this episode, but... Yeah, Living Armor, definitely worth checking out that combo. Y you can definitely go way beyond, like, what I did with it, obviously. But I wanted to try something more low-key. You know, it's a little, little, you know, stay on the low-low, how it is. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, I, I still kind of want to win games and stuff. Uh, and yeah, that was Living Armor. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwent content, and I'll see you soon.